Hello and welcome to learn system view in five minutes. This is tutorial three and in this tutorial I will teach you how to get started with your first data flow simulation in system view. So recall in tutorial two we talked about system view GUI and how to get the parts from the from the library and to place it on the on the schematic. Now we will extend our learning and we will set up our first simulation. Now in system view, there are multiple ways you could do simulation and the multiple simulators you have. So the first and form basic simulator is called data flow. And if you recall, uh, we go here into analysis, we have data flow, we have linear, phased array, RF system and so on. So data flow is a time domain simulator. So any time domain simulator works on time sampling. That means it has to have a start time and a stop time and the sampling time. And that's what precisely we will need to set here. So when we double click on this anal analysis here from the tree, the first thing we can notice is a default name and I can give it my own name. So I can call it my DF. And then we need to select which design would we like to simulate with this simulator. So by default, I mean, right now, um, you know, by default, we only had one schematic and that's the design one name. And after every simulation, you will have a data set which will store your result. So if you don't provide any name here, system view will create its own data set using the internal rule which we have, which is by concatenating your design name and the, and the data simulator name. But if you want to call it with some specific name, you could type in my data so that you are very clear which data you are generating and you could see and identify that in the tree after simulation is complete. Now to set up in simulation, only two things you need to worry about. One is the sample rate and another is number of samples. By doing these two, rest of the parameters will automatically be calculated by system view. Now, if you notice um, in our sine wave, we do have frequency of five kilohertz, which is the default number. So I can set the sampling rate to be something like 25 kilohertz, uh, which is like five times of the carrier frequency, good enough for us to get a, a good enough sine wave. Now with sample rate set up, we can decide number of samples. So I can type any number I want. For example, I want to run 1024 time sample. And once we do that, depending on the sample rate and number of samples, you will see the stop time change. For example, if I just add one four here, you can see the number gets changed there. So it's all interlinked by a chain. So once you provide these two basic parameters, rest everything will get calculated. Now you could also pick a number of samples from the power of two. So it's like two raised to n. If you, if you are not sure how many number, but later if you want to do FFT and you are you know having knowledge about basic FFT, you could use um, you know two raised to n number to get more more you know clear FFT. Right. So we'll start with these two and we click OK and our simulator is all set to run simulation. But in data flow, one thing is which is very important, you at least need to have one sync because sync is the way we will collect the data produced by system. So right now my system is only the sine wave. There's nothing else in my system. So I need to connect a sync here, uh, which will collect the data once the simulation is performed by the simulator. Now, like we filtered a uh, sign, we can type in sync and we can get the sync component. So there are multiple syncs, but we will use this generic data sync. We click on that, move over mouse and place the sync here. And you can see is the sync and the name of the sync by default is S2, but you can double click and you can give your sync any name you want. So let me call it sign out. And here in data collection, you can decide to collect all the data. Uh, what simulator is producing or you can select it uh, from X sample to Y sample or you could uh, filter it as per the time. Let's say you want to start from zero second and you want to capture data only up to 10 microsecond while the simulation might be performed till 100 microsecond. So I'll leave it automatic for the time being. You click OK and now to wire them up, uh, you could either move your cursor closer to this pin and once you click and drag, you could connect the multiple things together. That's one way of connecting. Another way of connecting is you overlap this two pin 
and now the components are connected and then you can move around the components wherever you want. So either you either way you want to work is fine and you can press control Z to do an undo command in case you did something wrong. So let me make that connection. So now we are ready. We will go ahead and save our design by clicking on the save icon. To run simulation, I can either click on this green arrow or I could just right click on a particular simulator and click run. And after run is done, you can see the data set getting generated and there's no error or warning in the, in the window here. So if I double click and open the, the data set, I can see sign out, which is name of my sync. If you forgot to rename the sync, you will see a default name, something like S2 here. So it doesn't matter, whatever we have, sign out, and it has a time axis and an amplitude. So if I want to plot this data on a graph, uh, one way is to right click here, select that to graph and select new graph, and you would be able to see that. And using your scroll wheel of the mouse, you can zoom into the graph, or you can use the zoom button here or press X, which is the short key, and you can draw the rectangle if you want to zoom in. If you want to see the whole data again, you can select a graph and click on this icon, zoom to fit or press Z on your keyboard and it will show you the entire plot again. So this is one way of graph plotting. We will learn multiple ways of handling this data as we go along in this tutorial series. So that's your five minutes learning about how to do your first simulation in system view. Hope you like the video and thanks for watching.